The browser console is a web page that allows a front desk agent to set up wake-up calls, view guest records, as well as perform other interactions with the phone system. In this video, we are going to look at the features and functions of the browser console. To log in, open up a web browser, normally Chrome or Firefox, and if the login screen does not automatically load, check the Favorites menu to see if the Phone Suite Browser Console is listed there. Next, enter the username and password and click Login. If you don't know what username or password to use, please ask your general manager. The default view of the Browser Console is the Rooms tab. From here, you can see all guest rooms, guest names, scheduled wake-up calls, and guest calling permissions. You can use the arrows at the top to move from page to page, or the search bar to find a specific guest room or guest. To set a wake-up call, click on the alarm clock icon from the Rooms tab. Next, click the New Wake-up Call button. You can then use the buttons at the top to quick set a one-time only wake-up call, or use the hour and minute buttons below to set a wake-up call for a more specific time. If you set a custom wake-up call, you will also need to select the frequency for that call. Your options are one time only, every day, every weekday, or only on weekends. Once the time and frequency are set, click Save. You will now see the wake-up call in a pending state with the date and time the call is set to occur. If you wish to cancel the call, just click the X below the call. A guest can have up to nine wake-up calls. From the Rooms page, you can click on the Room Extension Number to view details about that room and the guest staying there. Information includes a guest calling permissions, number of calls, credit limit, and current bill total. You can also see how many voicemails a guest has in their mailbox. From this page, you can change the guest calling permission by clicking on the button listing their current permission level. Next, you simply click on the permission set you wish to give the guest. The button will then update to reflect the new permission set. This page also allows you to drop in a pre-recorded message into the guest voicemail box. To do so, click on the voicemail icon and then click on the message you wish to drop in. Once finished, turn on the message waiting lamp so they know they have a message waiting. There is also a check-in room button. Normally, the property management system will check in guests, but in situations where this is not working or no property management system is in use, you can click on the green check mark to check in a room. Next, you want to make sure to edit the guest name. If the guest wishes not to be disturbed by phone calls, you can also enable Do Not Disturb by clicking on the DND icon. Note that Do Not Disturb does not prevent wake up calls. Lastly, a guest calling history can be viewed on the Call Details tab and the Wake Up Call History on the Wake Up Call History tab. Both of these tabs have a Get PDF button that, when clicked, will generate a PDF report that can be printed or saved. The Browser Console has a phone built in. This phone will use your computer's speaker and microphone, so using a headset might be appropriate. To make a call, Simply enter the number you wish to dial and click the green call button. To end a call, click the red phone button at the top. While on a call, you also have the options to transfer the call using an attended or blind transfer method. Lastly, the pause button will place the call on hold, while the microphone button will mute and unmute the call. If your system has been set up with night modes, they can be selected at the top of the screen. Simply click on the button labeled Day Mode and choose the different Night Mode options. Not all systems will have options here, and if you are unsure what these options do, it's best to check with your GM before using them. Once the Night Mode is selected, the button will update to reflect the currently selected mode. If you wish to place a call to a guest room, you can click on the Call button for that room. Once you do so, the phone nearest to your location will begin to ring. Pick up the phone and the guest room phone will begin to ring. You also have the option of transferring a call to a guest room by using the transfer button. Just click the transfer button for the room you wish to transfer your call to and it will be immediately transferred to that room. 
The missed wake up call tab displays all wake up calls missed within the last 24 hours. Note that in some cases you will also receive an automatic call to notify you that a guest has missed a wake up call. There are a few other tabs and buttons that you should be aware of. The calls tab shows all active guest calls. The extensions tab shows all admin and non guest room extensions. Note that the call and transfer buttons are available here and function the same way they do for guests. At the top of the screen, you may see a group wake up call and group message button. The group wake up button will only be visible if you have checked in guests with an affiliation or group code listed in their profile. The group wake up call button features exactly like setting a wake up call for a single guest, but will set a wake up call for all guests belonging to that affiliation. The group message button is to drop in a pre-recorded message into the voicemail box of either all guests belonging to a selected affiliation or to every guest currently checked in. Take care with this feature as there's no way to undo it once you click send. You can play the message through the speakers connected to your computer by clicking on the play icon next to each sound file. The button labeled pair to can be used to change the extension that the browser console is paired to. The extension listed here will be the phone the browser console rings when the call button is clicked. The help button will display a PDF covering all the information presented in this video. The get call logs button will allow you to generate call reports for guest or admin phones. Normally call logs are kept for 30 days. You can also run a wake up call audit displaying all wake up call activity for the selected date range. Lastly, Clicking the logout button will return you to the login screen. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the PhoneSuite Browser Console. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Browser Console and its features.